Hello, Studio 108 Seekers and Sages. I am so excited to be here today with Lisa Turner, psychologist extraordinaire. And we are talking oh, about this, like the edginess, the antiness, the way yeah. we're kind of feeling right now. And so hopefully um, you're experiencing any of that and get some affirmation mm -hmm. and some guidance and some consideration about how to make your way through. So Lisa, yeah. I'm turning it right over to you because we can hardly wait. Yeah, no, well, another moment. first model, the room is beautiful. If you have not been in the room and the chairs are lovely. Oh, the chairs, yes, yes they, they are. are. They're really comfy and lovely. I had to be non-yogic for just a moment <laughs> to say that. I was waiting in line with one of them and the woman came up and said, um, is there a price tag on this one because the other one doesn't have a price tag? And it just was like this. I'm getting that one too. Like, <laughs> don't take another chair. <laughs> so um, I defended them for us. They're very soft. You'll have to come in and sit and see them. So, uh, you know, this month um, in class, I've been really focused on all the Virgo energy. Um, Virgo is an earth sign. It's mutable. So it's very, it's changeable. Um, we know that it loves to organize and to work and to be at service. Um, it can also be, you know, kind of critical, edgy. Um, I know when I feel that Mars um, Virgo, I get really tense. I get a little bit in my OCD mode, a little critical. My anxiety kind of flares a little bit. Yeah, like with a lot of, with a lot of for, exactly with a lot of Virgo energy, I feel. <gasps> Like this, where the where the Pisces energy is very like, okay, cool, didn't work out, no problem. And the Virgo is like, hey, I want to fix it. I don't want it that way. I need to put it the way that it's supposed to be. Um, like I feel like the good thing about Virgo is that it keeps me organized. Like my schedules put together, my trainings are all outlined well. Mm -hmm. And I would like some strength in Virgo, like it really, structure. Yeah, and, that, and, and that it's Virgo a skill. Energy. It's a skill because then I can be very functional in the world. Absolutely, my projects come to completion, and people can relate to them well because they're well structured. But um, this is a whole different conversation. It is. Time. This is an extreme because Virgo also is a villain. It's a ruled by the sixth, sixth house, right? It's health, it's work, right? If we're working too hard, it can tax our health. And as I was working through the classes and I was working through the chart, I was thinking about change. Mars is going to try and run us right around August 21st, August 22nd. That kind of really assists us in this ability to make changes and changes are very hard. So I was curious and I looked up the definition between change and resolution. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I, I wanted to say, I asked her, when will there be a resolution? And right? she just kind of like, you kind of laughed. <laughs> <laughs> well, because everything goes in cycles. It's never, it's never a start and a stop, right? Yeah. It, we, we, you know, we know this, it, it just, it flows. So the difference between change and resolution is determination. It's will. It's the desire to make changes in our life because we become accustomed to it. We all, we all feel that, right? We all have these patterns and habits that feel good. You know, we can look at health or work, the way in which we do things, we repeat them. They're repetitive. Yeah, you know, it's like, um, I say this often in class because I love to put in unexpected or unfamiliar, unusual sequences mm. because it's good for the brain. Like, it's really good for the neurology. That's very Uranian, right? Yes, right. It's like a little shakedown is super good, and I want to be productive when I come to my house. I don't want to do the same class all the time and be in the same habitual spot. But <laughs> when we are in that place of unfamiliar, we tag it as bad or hard. Mm -hmm. We do. I'm guilty of that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And then once it becomes familiar, we tag it as good or easy. Mm -hmm. So thus the human tendency to not embrace the change. <laughs> <laughs> you have a really hard time when you're in this and Mars are chiming and when the Virgo energies are getting that. And it's, and it's hyped up. I mean, soon the sun will be in Virgo. So we are going to have those personal planets hanging out in a very critical 
detail oriented health conscious sign. So what I did was speaking of mat is this week, if you were in class, I had everyone step off of their mat because we get in a habit where we go into a yoga studio, we roll out the mat, we jump on, we start to stretch, we maybe go into child's pose and we wait, or maybe we talk. Um, but a lot of work happens on our mat from a physical standpoint of noticing our strengths, noticing where we need to work a little bit on an asana or holding alignment. Um, but also what's happening from an energetic standpoint, what is happening in our mind mm -hmm. and we're clean, we're cleaning up, right? Mm -hmm. We're cleaning up a dialogue. We're cleaning up emotions. We're cleaning up health i mean we sweat right yeah. we sweat we move we're cleansing digestion like exactly, exactly. Yeah. and i know oh gosh like there in those early years of my practice i could feel really tangibly how anything that was on my mind it was kind of churning you know and i'd be like having conversations with people in my mind this is what i'm going to say the next time i see them like or this is how i'm going to handle this problem this is, like i learned like don't do anything until after you practice with it yes like first bring it to my mat first practice it through clean it up is right. what i was clean doing it up that exactly that, right like yes. i was cleaning up the ego stuff cleaning up the karmic pattern stuff cleaning up the false Sacha. stuff Sacha. Mm -hmm. cleaning it up and then i could see most of the time, the conversation needs to be completely different than the screaming in my head. Right. Once I got perspective. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, we're working on this. Well, if you come to class, you're working on it here. Yeah. Um, but we're also working on it off the mat as well. Um, I did a little imagery yesterday with um, falling leaves, right? Fall's coming <laughs> sooner than we think. And we're going to see the beautiful leaves and we're going to take it in and we're going to admire them. And then we're going to notice that they start to fall and maybe they kind of like lightly coat our front lawn. And then over time, our mental patterns, our habits, our diet, those leaves get heavier and heavier. And at some point we have to rake them up. Or, you know, sometimes we keep our fingers crossed and we hope a big wind comes and swifts them into the neighbor's yard. <laughs> exactly. Think of the breath. You know, that is what we do in our practice. We draw this breath inward and we, we clean it up. We use the breath to kind of sweep over and, and, and guide us as to what we need to work on, what we need to look at. 100%. You know, so we're cleaning up the leaves a little earlier this year. We are. We're giving the opportunity to clean up the leaves a little earlier. Um, as much as, you know, the Mars of Virgo kind of inks up my anxiety a little bit, it's truly a great reminder for me to breathe. Okay. Because I, I do, you know, in a personal chart, I do have planets in that sixth house of Virgo. Um, so I, I do like details. I do like to stay organized. I have to also be all over the place, but that Mars and Virgo is, you know, isn't somewhere in everybody's chart um, where we're being asked to kind of make subtle changes and not to get so caught up in the details, even though it's time to kind of sort through what do we need to keep? What do we need to kind of let go of? What do we need to repurpose, right? Yeah, and I like that idea, Lisa, because that puts me back in control. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> I always spend some time contemplating what's going on and say, okay, the, the energies right now, or they're shifting and they're shaking. There is going to be some fracturing at the edges and it's a really good time to like shut out what I don't want, then why don't I participate in that instead of fighting with it? Like, can I look at it and say, well, what do I need to shut out? And then probably a couple things will happen that are unexpected that I'm like, not that, <sighs> but right. You know, at least I'm cooperating with the, the general flow of things and I'm not desperately looking at you for when will it resolve. It's not going to resolve. It's not going to resolve. It's just going to continue shifting and shaping and moving. And growing and because, growing. because that it changes is. the growth. Mars doesn't, you know, Mars takes the good two years to go around 
around the solar system. So we don't really have the opportunity all the time to, to focus on these things. Yeah. So it's, it, it is, a, I like Mars cycles. I love them and hate them at the same time because. Okay, so Mars is fiery. Mars is what's firing up Virgo. So it's like Mars is the spotlight or the explanation. Mars, it, Mars is the determination. Mars is the action. Mars is what gets us up in the morning and says, get the heck out of bed and start your day. Right. You know, if you know your natal chart, notice where your natal Mars is. If your Mar, if your natal Mars is in Pisces, maybe you like to daydream a little bit and it's harder to get motivated. Um, notice how you exert your temper or exert your energy. Um, so right now Mars is exerting his energy in Virgo, wants the details, wants to organize things, wants to work on things. Maybe you notice that you're more critical in nature than you have been. Um, that's that Mars and, you know, that's the Mars and Virgo, but I really like Mars and Virgo when it, or any of the Virgo right now as, as yogis and yoginis focusing on Saucha, right? Living this well-balanced life, um, optimal health, um, mind, body, soul. So, and Virgo is health and wellness. Mm -hmm. Virgo is like yep. our exercise plan, our yep. diet plan, like yep. that is Virgo energy. So it's actually a really good time to come in for a first class free. It is. Or, <laughs> or to pick up one of those big student namaste passes. It is because yeah. you know we I know we were focusing on the Mars and Virgo, but Jupiter dipped back in Aquarius, yeah. and it's going to go back into Pisces, where we are going to search for the teacher, the 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 connecting to the teacher, to the guru, and you know noticing. We need help sometimes, and those yeah. teachers are there to help us clean up or to to have us look at life through a different lens. Mm -hmm. It happens and in yoga. It happens. <laughs> yeah, and actually, um, I feel like the teacher, yes, in the community, mm -hmm. like having a like-minded community come in, and I feel um, really strongly about that when I lay out the offerings of the studio. And you'll see even across our webpage, I have like the community tab. And um, free once a month um, full moon watches, which is coming up Sunday, August 22nd. It's just social activities that you can go to with a group of like minded people because you want some of that wellness built into your social life, yeah. right? Like, we just don't want to come and practice and then go out and have social activities that, that don't support our you know, objectives. And this idea that Salcha, that we can put a little cleanliness around some of our um, social patterns too. Absolutely. Um, yeah, come on in and make friends. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, you know, knowing the chart is wonderful, knowing your personal chart, um, connecting with the energy looking, just being the observer of your own life, of, of noticing where you are finding yourself being a little harder, harder on yourself mm -hmm. um, or harder on others, you know? Um, Virgo Pisces does have that polarity of sacrifice and service. So a lot of the time, so Virgo Pisces would be like the opposite sign across the chart. Correct. So when yeah. we do the full moon watch on August 22nd, will we be Virgo Pisces? Will it be the 22nd? Should I think it is. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Leo will be over on the 20th yep. or the 21st. Yep. Yeah. So it'll be Virgo Pisces. So it'll be balancing the ideas of, tell me again, something in service. Sacrifice and service. Sacrifice and service. Yeah. Yeah. So those, that's the conversation. Yeah about where we give and where we so there's that difference right so this is like a big this is a big theme for me because i carry and I, for you too i was we were just talking about it because she has a lot of pisces and she has a lot of virgo so there's this always this balance of working to help others and then we you can deplete yourself yeah because you're giving 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 where now it feels more of the service becomes the sacrifice and it, it completely depletes your well-being. So for me, I'll notice it in my health because 
And that's just where, I, that's where I notice it, you know, in my chart or, you know, anyone, if they give too much, it affects their health. But, you know, finding that, finding that balance or knowing when to say, okay, you know, I, I've, I've done what I can do and I feel, I feel enough that I've, I've given, I've given what I can. Yeah. And that's the word you use. Mm-hmm. I was waiting for that word. Um, yeah. This idea that we do do enough. We do enough. We are enough. Mm-hmm. So I get like this idea that there's more I can do and part it's like my nature. Mm-hmm. So people are like, don't do so much. I'm like, I- I'm just waking up in the morning and being Tracy. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know how to do less. When I read out my calendar and I say no to things, other things just crop up. It's just the way I roll, mm-hmm. you know? And so I've worked really hard on accepting that about myself. I'm not beating myself up for being busy, not beating myself up for having a lot of things going on. I actually like having a lot of things going on. Mm-hmm. I thrive that way. But if I do it from this attitude that I'm not enough, and it's a really subtle thing. Mm-hmm. Like if I do it from an attitude of I'm not enough, I need to do more, then there, there's like an energy leak. In, exactly. There's like an anxiety in it. Um, there's a trying too hard in it. Which is very Virgo. It's a very, and it's a very saboteur. It, it, and it's saying. a very Neptunian word. Yes, yeah. to sabotage, right? Yeah. So, um, so that's what we were talking about with this energy and kind of coming to a place where we can let go of that um, effort and just be enough, just be enough for enough. It was enough. Yes. <clears throat> it was a, the image of, um, <coughs> do you remember those pictures? They're like the pixelated pictures. The, um, the little dots. Oh, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. you can't really see the picture when you're standing up really close because all you see are the are the details. You yeah. just have to, all you see is the dots. You have to step back to to really see the picture. That is very that Virgo Pisces, right? Pisces yeah. is taking in that full story, that full story, but it needed it needed those Virgo details, yeah. right? Virgo is the dots and Pisces is pulling back. Is pulling back and seeing and everything as a whole for, you know, for what it is. And this idea that we're, we're working the continuum because, you know, it's a polarity planet. So there's there's be- always a polarity. So anytime, and I hope that, I think we do this, you know, anytime we're talking about one planet in one sign, we always have to kind of look and pull back to see what does that other sign represent? Because every we're always working in polarities, right? In your class, you hear me root down and explain you know, and grow, you know, and every yoga teacher has their, <laughs> their, way, their way of and, saying and that. that's, that's how we pin drop our experience. It's like, okay, my experience is somewhere between this and this. And so I can pin drop it and I can say, all right, it seems to be like right here. What if I like consider, bring awareness to this service idea what if I bring awareness to this sacrifice? Like, where on the continuum am I? Where do I need to magnify? How can I find balance? Because we just want to feel okay. Exactly. So I was I was telling Tracy earlier in the week that you know my anxiety has been up. I've spoken to clients; their anxiety has been up. Um, so the polarity for me has been meditation. I have amped up my meditation practice to counter all of these Virgo planets getting stuck in the, I need to do, I need to do, I need to improve. I need to get this done. I need the, I need the exhale. Sleep for me. (laughs) Like I've got to get enough sleep or I just can't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it goes hand in glove. Like if I get enough sleep, I can be up for my practices early. And then the rest of the day Mm -hmm. is, I don't want to say it's a gimme. There are problems that happen, sure. But it seems like anything that happens, I can handle it. If I've had enough sleep and I got my practice in the morning, then the rest of the day, the master, master of my day. I noticed that. Even when the roof leaks. Yeah. You know? So sleep, eating well. Um, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, moving your body, moving your body. Um, you know, we are going into the fall. We've all heard on the news about, you know, illness spreading, take care of you, stress, anxiety. They pull the energy down. Yeah. 
It's not, it's, there's no soucha in that. <laughs> you know, a walk in nature. Yes. Hugely invigorating and soucha clearing. Yeah, the electromagnetism and the ions pulling off of you. Um, water, plenty of water. Yes, yes. Taking care of your health it, as a whole, mentally, physically, spiritually, and noticing where you are really strong in it. So I'm really strong in the doing part. Yeah. I'm not always so strong in the taking a step back and, and breathing and centering and allowing mm -hmm. that Piscean part. The undoing part. The undoing part, the exactly. Part. Yep. Um, I've got a little habit that was really helpful for me in the mornings. So just getting up out of bed, you know, hearing the alarm, kind of jarring yourself out of bed can be a little like start that frantic thing. So I've got this thing where I get up and I get my my initial stuff done, you know, I stop in the kitchen and the bathroom and that kind of tea ready. And then I start my practice with like a supported child's pose. Like I start my practice with a down regulator to just, mm -hmm. and eight minutes yeah. seems to be about the mark where then I'll be settled. And um, yeah, I think maybe I'm just gonna do another one when I go home this afternoon after we're done here. Yeah, I take like a little eight minute, not necessarily we'll call it a nap if you want to call it, but an eight minute restorative. It legs up a wall, child's pose with a pillow underneath your belly, um, mm -hmm. even crocodile flat on your belly. Like those are down regulators. You can be on your back, but it's a little more stimulating. If it makes, you know, if it's settling for you, do it. Um, certainly legs up a wall. And you can do that even hanging in a chair, like ragdoll style seated is a nice way at your desk. Set the timer for five minutes. Um, I am not a big chanter, but um, focusing on the out breath, out my mouth, and making a sound yeah. has also been very helpful <laughs> <laughs> to, 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 to move this the tense energy. Um, yeah, especially if you've got situations where you can't necessarily use your voice the way you'd like to. Mm -hmm. Like you've got a job or a relationship yeah. or a situation where you can't vocalize what you'd like to. Yeah, then just send a big inhale. <sighs> That's pretty much what I sound like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I just need to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I like to honor the cycles. We do, you know, we do these podcasts to honor the cycle. So, you know, this cycle is very much about, you know, cleaning up where, you know, where in our life we need to just kind of give a little focus and, and sweep through things for not only our sanity, but for our health, yeah. truly, you know, for our health. Yeah, I think it's a um, bigger conversation than um, is usually presented when it comes to health. Is the simple things that we can do to create a lifestyle that supports our overall well being. Lifestyle. Like it's yes. so yeah. um, underappreciated. There are so many other things that society wants to push at us as solutions um, when these things can be have a really big impact. Yeah, if you've got some back to school energy at the house, like for sure, it's really busy and crazy, but maybe this has inspired you to um, focus on. I some hope of so. Habits. And you know, if you need. You know, if you need a reminder, make a little post-it note on, on to, to help you focus on what you're working on, what you want to stay mindful of, what area of life you want to clean up, and how you want to do it. You know, sometimes those little notes help. Yeah, and I'll mention that the Seekers and Sages get a monthly email from me with a meditation video. Um, it's exclusive for those members, so if you're not, check it out, see what you think. There's also an affirmation that comes printable, a book recommendation. So again, connection with your community. We're really here for you and um, want the best. We want the best. Yeah, and it's more fun all together. It is. And, you know, if you want to know, you know, where your Mars cycle is or where your, you know, all this Virgo is stacking up, you know, reach out, come visit me in the studio. I will, I will look it up for you. Yeah, so to help assist you in that process. Yeah, Lisa's here on Wednesday. Um, yep. You can go to the website. You can see her Facebook name and her handles. I'll also put them underneath the video here. 
and um, and all the classes near the transit. So we work on them. We work on them in class. Excellent on your map, where it can make a difference. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because putting it in practice, having the experience, is really what it's all about these days. It is. Like we're done with that. Just learning things to know it and to pass the test. That's not going to get. That's not going to bring us to any. Um, personal empowerment or success now it's like you have to have the experiences you have to um, bring it through your yeah. form and really be able to live these things if you want to have the benefits so and there's magic that happens on that mat hello yeah. you stepped off and looked at it yeah i know right <laughs> so what happens yeah, sometimes when i roll up my mat i get kind of sentimental yeah but thank you it really takes a lot Yes, exactly. It, it does. I know. It takes a lot. All right. And, and if you want to clean it, we have some spray. There you go. Clean up your ass. Sanitize. Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much. Lisa. Thank you. I hope to see everybody soon. Um, thanks for following. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.